So, uh, guys, welcome to the first uh, uh, Shino's one-shot. Uh, essentially, what we're going to do is I, I explained this another time, but I'm, I'm going to re-explain it right now. Um, I'm, we're going to be playing games. One game per week. So, even if I don't like the game, we're not going to switch to another one. We're going to keep on that one, and then if I don't like it, we just go back to another game. Probably, like, uh, like one of our main games. So, um, in this in this case, today would be Pathfinder, for example. So, um, the plan is this. We're going to be playing, every Monday night, a new game. A game that is a game that uh, I've been asked to uh, cover by different uh, publishers uh, uh, or, or games that I purchased that I wanted to give a shot uh, or games that I got into an Humble, humble Bundle and uh, I was kind of wondering what it was about and stuff and I, I, I wanted to, to try it out. So um, depending on the game and depending on if I like the game or not, we, we might spend like a full four hour stream on the game or we might actually do like a two hour give our impression, and then move on to our main game, like I said before. So, tonight, we are playing Niflheim. Now, Niflheim is a uh, game that was provided to me by uh, the, the actual publisher of the game, which, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't recall the name. Niflheim. There we go. So, uh, you can get this game on uh, on Steam right now uh, for 20 bucks, and, uh, well, 20 Canadians, probably cheaper for you guys. And uh, you can also buy the soundtrack if you if you fancy the soundtrack but don't really like the game. Now, um, it, the game is described as follow. It, it, it says, Your avatar is a brave warrior who has fallen in battle, but instead of finding well-deserved peace in Asgard, his soul is trapped in the harsh world of Niflheim. Survive in this hostile world, ransack the neighboring lands, explore dangerous dungeons, and find your way to Valhalla. Now, I've, from what I've heard uh, uh, from different source materials and stuff, from different uh, publications and things, uh, this game is like a cross between a game called Kingdom, which I don't know what it is, and Terraria. So I'm assuming there's probably like a bit of kingdom building or something, and there's probably uh, a bit of exploration, kind of like Terraria as. I don't think the, uh, like there's a building system quite as complex as a game like Terraria, but it probably has a few things going for it. Um, it is developed and published by a lot of games, and um, a lot of games <clears throat> has, uh, according to the page on on their what Steam? Whoa, Steam is like a new system. Look at that! Look at that, guys. This is brand new. This this whole thing. Like normally, when you click on a uh, like a developer and stuff you just have like a list like in the shop but this is not the case look at this thing it's completely different it says beta here so this is brand new uh it says the title at the, at the top and then you see like what they have right now as new release or well i guess total so that's basically what it is you only have two games well two things so uh this game and the uh the, the host um now um this game is uh is it has a mixed review right now on steam so uh it, it's 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 pro like it used to be mostly positive but recent reviews so I'm, I'm assuming they probably made some patches and stuff and it probably broke the game uh 31st of october it probably patched something in there that probably people didn't like but we'll see we'll see i i, I don't have any expectations i don't know about the game this is by design by the way on purpose i'm not researching into games too much i really want my take to be as authentic as possible as a as a first time player as if i would just bought the game and then started playing it so that's the that's the plan um there was another thing i wanted to do and it's hold on i'm not i'm not prepared guys i should have been more prepared uh i just need to make a uh a quick shit where's my uh there, we, there it is okay hold on hold on hold the phone um <laughs> Hold on, guys. I need to make one command that we're going to call uh, one shot. Uh, one shot for purchase on Steam here. Boom. 
And... And active now. Cool. Let me just put that in the stream title as well, so people know. Uh. Boom. One shot. So exclamation point, one shot. That gives you the uh, the thing, and then you you can just do it. So hold on. Uh, exclamation point, one shot, or just one shot, maybe just the, the name. Yeah, okay, that's right. So, it's much of my one shot. I'll give you the link to the Steam store if you're interested. Uh, and uh, without further ado, let's jump in the game, guys. Let's see if we like it or not. I'm going to give my impressions throughout and at the end. And depending on how I like the game and how long it is, we're going to uh, uh, eventually jump onto Pathfinder, most likely. Hey, Darb, thanks, man. Do like it, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh... Let's go here, let's shut down the music, and let's get into the game. The Last Crusade oh. awaits, the most lonely and bitter. Brave warrior sets off in a funeral ship. Sacred ritual ended with a farewell song. Only flame destroyed all earthly ties. The gods wait in their chambers, but short paths are not meant for the brave. Dark demons, ancient lords of deceit, abducted the soul floating quietly towards Asgard. With faithful sword and his fate in his hands, he enters Nibelheim, the harsh land of ancient spirits. I've been pronouncing it wrong, by the way. <laughs> it's Nibelheim, not Nibelheim. Although, I guess you could probably say both. Alright, look at that. So, oh, there's a multiplayer component? That's interesting. Yeah, let's get that down a little bit. Don't want it to be too overpowering my voice, although it still seems to be pretty loud. Hey, Shodos, what's up, man? Yeah, dude, right on the money. Okay, so apparently there's even a multiplayer component. By the way, I, I, I want to take the time to make sure that people notice that I'm playing release version 1.0.007.7 this is important because if people are watching this after the fact long after the fact um it's important to know that this was in an earlier iteration of the game world creation oh you did show those awesome dude Plan to do WF crit one shot in Oh dude, yeah. Uh okay, so hold on. I choose where I want to start. I think. The ancient bear mound. Mountain terrains with rocks and ice as far as the eye can see. Covered with cold mist, the land is rich with small animals which attract wolves and other predators in great numbers. Or the one-eyed wolf forest, harsh, dark woods covered with snow and ice, wild animals roam this land, rich, rich with sweet berries and mushroom. More of the desert eagle, deadly swamps covered with thick fog where birds hide from ambush ambushing predators, and the ice dragon wasteland, desert land surrounded with mountain peaks, high dry grass arbors large predators and their numerous prey. Man, this is cool. Uh, I don't. I honestly don't know. I think. I think we'll start. I think the first one is probably the easiest one. I'm assuming. Like they probably made it like. Oh, you have to had. Bots. So wait. So I'm, I'm playing against a computer. I thought this was a single player game mostly, with a multiplayer component maybe. Oh. 
But we probably don't want to make it like against like everybody. We probably just want to have one enemy because otherwise it might get too crazy. I, I mean, I've never played the game, so I, I don't know what to expect. Character selection. Uh, so a Viking is an experienced fighter hardened by countless sea expeditions. He stands firm on a healing, healing deck under a cloud of arrows and in melee combat. He relies on his weapons and finds his way out of many situations. Bonus to bleeding, slow metabolism, and decent damage. The Valkyrie, she is a daughter of a legendary warrior who has dedicated her life to fighting her sister in arms, become her family. Priestess and prophetess instruct her in forbid forbidden secret. Also, hello, boobs. Holy shit. Like, they, they just couldn't make, like, just a regular person. They had to make, like, a, a giantess. Um, very slow metabolism. Decent defense. Bonus to poison and burning resistance and low damage. The Berserker. Relying on his uh, divine patron, Odin. The Berserker is strong beyond measure, fearless, and strikes terror in the heart of his enemies. The price for his high... For, for the price for this is I. He is an outcast from society, warmed only by fierce battle, living in constant anticipation of a fight. Bonus to bleeding and poison resistance, fast metabolism, and great damage. So this guy needs to eat all the time. And a shaman. He set out on a campaign for fame and fortune, but not on a Drakkar with a loyal squad. His allies are ancient spirits and elementals, and not very every Asgard dwellers dares set foot on the paths he walks. Bonus resistance to all damage type, great defense. He has the lowest damage of the bunch, but he has an immense metabolism, which is just slightly less fast than this one, but still pretty fast. This is like the standard metabolism, and she has like the slowest one. Like it's, she never needs to eat, essentially. Um, from what I understand. Um, I don't know when I bullet play, guys. I mean, the Shaman sounds interesting, but it also has, like, the lowest damage, which, uh, that's, like, the standard one. But I don't want to play the standard. I think, I think most people will play the standard, uh, option. I think maybe, like, maybe trying out the Shaman might be cool, or maybe the Valkyrie. I'm not super interested into the Berserker, to be honest. Um... Mainly because of the, the food thing. I think, like, uh, I don't mind lower damage, but the, the food thing might become an issue over time. Let's, uh... Oh, look at the HP. 150. 80. But she's got 10 defense. She's got 5. 0. And 2. Okay, we'll play the Shaman. We'll give the Shaman a shot. Just for you, Shadows. Just for you. Ancient Bear Mound. Okay, this is my base, I'm assuming. Okay, I can move to the left and to the right. I can build. Uh, building. So, the vegetable garden. I need, I need wood. Twigs and ropes, chicken coop, and a, and a sheep fold. Okay. Um, here I have my shepherd's club. Eight damage. I don't have a shield. What's here? Another place to build, I guess? Okay, yeah. What about this? Build? Oh, I can upgrade into a citadel, but I, I need stuff. Yeah, dude, it's, it's honestly, it looks awesome. Yeah, if you're interested, uh, you can type in exclamation point one shot in chat. That will give you the link to the uh, the Steam store. So you can check out other people's review, maybe, or check screenshots of other parts of the game, and uh, you can see all that good stuff. Um, okay, enter. I, I want to see what's in there. Okay, there's a chest. Oh, look at that. We have a... Oh, no, no, wait. That, that's my inventory? And this is the chest. Okay, yeah. So this is my inventory right now. So I have a 
crude iron axe, a crude axe. Use an axe to chop down trees. This is a weapon. That's that's a tool. That is also a tool to dig tunnels or mine for ore. And I got some harrows, which I'm not sure I'm going to be using all that much. Hold on. Build chests. Oh, you can build more chests if you want to. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's cool, man. No worries. Yeah, she knows the shaman. There we go. Oh, th see? oh, that's why you mine. I think. Yeah, it's to build a tunnel. Hold on. I want to see. I want to see if I can mine this. Can I, can I mine this? Oh, I already have my tools. Uh, I have to use a tool. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Skills. Bro, look at that. You can increase cooking. An alchemy, craftsman, miner, woodcutter, hunter, warrior. More damage, I'm assuming. There's quests. Okay. There's a, there's a tutorial section, which I really, really like. Um, let's see. Q to pick up items lying beside you. Press E to chop down trees and dig tunnels below ground. Okay, E. Uh, fight. Press F to attack the nearest target. To toggle between range and close combat, press R. C to take a defensive stance with your shields. Shields can only be used in close combat. Okay, stats. Um, try to stay away from fog in the dungeons. Sit on the throne or stand next to a flock of fireflies to quickly restore your health. Good to know. Every time... Wait, hold on. Maintaining a proper diet is a first level priority. When you're hungry, your health will suffer. Every time you die, you receive a mortal wound that can only be healed via a potion of regeneration. So death will also empty your pockets. Oh. Ultimatums. The lands of Nifl uh, Niflheim are... Uh, or Niflheim are inhabited by death priests, the servant of hell. They are an irritating bunch. They can be dangerous and from time to time will send you demands. As if that wasn't enough, there's the witch who requires sacrifices. Failing to meet an ultimatum will cause you a great deal of trouble. Be sure to study its requirement and take it seriously. Stay away from the lands affected by drought. If you want to stay healthy. Mine? The heart of your castle and your home. Inside the mine, you can build workshops and chests to store items. Don't forget to upgrade your castle's defensive structure so you can repel threats. If the enemy destroys your castle, they'll plunder your supplies. Try to build the castle tower as soon as possible and be sure to store your most valuable items in the vault. Okay, that's great. We're underground right now. Um, the entrance to the central dungeon is located in your workshop. That's great. The deeper you go, the harder it gets to dig, but a quality pick will speed up the process dramatically. Use the doors to move quickly between dungeon levels. These can be crafted in the sawmill. And if you take some time to install a lantern, the dungeon won't seem so scary. Okay. Hunting. Uh, if your warrior gets hungry, you better beware. To prepare a nutritious meal, you need to find some meat, which means that you'll have to hunt and kill some wild animals, which is probably the first thing I should do, to be honest. Uh, however, often live animals are required, so you will have to catch them using traps. Craft a trap in the sawmill. Okay, so first thing first, we need stuff to, to build the sawmill, and then we'll have stuff to hunt, I guess. Um... In your workshop, you can craft almost anything you need to help you survive. Uh, you can craft weapons and equipment in the forge and tools and other items in the sawmill. Food is prepared in the kitchen. And magical potions are brewed in the alchemy workshop. You can cr you also encounter altars in the words which can be used to craft charms. And charms are used to restore health. Production. There are three structures you can choose from. Chicken coop, greenhouse, and sheepfold. These can be upgraded to enhance production efficiency. City. Temple City is located at the very center of the world of Niflheim. You can, you can visit it by using M. Quick teleportation or by following the signpost at the edge of, of lands. I can earn decent money by selling unwanted items and use it to buy new equipment. Huh. 
And in the temple, you'll be able to resurrect an ancient force, the mighty dragon. Okay. Bosses. The dungeons are swarming with bosses every time you defeat a boss. There's a chance you'll get a fragment of the portal to Asgard. When bosses drop fragments of portal, they become stronger and more vicious, but bosses also guard other treasures that would come as a pleasant bonus after the battle. You should be well prepared for a boss battle to equip your best armor and weapons. Yeah, that makes sense. Aim of the game. Every Viking follows the only path there is, the path to Asgard. Even though you have been taken to Niflheim, that doesn't mean your goal has changed. The portal to Asgard is your only chance to go there and fulfill Odin's will. Bosses guards the fragment of portal day and night. Sometimes, but not always, you will get the next fragment after defeating a boss. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, that's a lot to take in, guys. It's, 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 it's quite a bit. Uh, okay, settings. Diplomacy. So I'm fighting a Valkyrie. Oh, and the goal is to have more fragments than I. Ah, interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, nice. Okay. Well, I mean... Uh, right now, I don't think this should be a priority. I think I think what I need is uh, instead to. Uh, well, hold on. Where's the sawmill? Is that this? Yeah. Twigs and building stones. Okay, maybe maybe building stones are from the mine though. We'll try and mine a little bit. See if we can find building stones. Gotta keep an eye on my food here. I don't seem to be... Oh, I'm gathering stuff. Yeah, building stones. There we go. <laughs> hey, Sassmith. We need building... <laughs> there we go. There we go. I have enough building stones, I believe. Digging music. Woodcutter quest. What? The mistress of the dead land has turned her gaze on you, warrior. Bring her joy with new victory. Collect three timber and we shall reward you greatly. Hey, I'll get a copper axe, which is better than my axe, I think. Right? Crude axe. Yes, it is. Well, that's fine. We'll go outside. We need, we need twigs. Uh, how many twigs? Ten. And probably a bunch of other stuff, like, uh, well, we need three logs or something. And other things for uh, production buildings outside. Wait, who that? Oh. Caw! A, th a threat. A treat. Uh, I mean, hello there, brave warrior. My name's Hoog, and I've got some advice for you. First off, don't be depressed. The foggy banks of Asgard need you more than the halls of Valhalla. Secondly, even after death, you shouldn't ignore your health. These little partridges are a great source of protein, and the same goes for their eggs. Mmm, tasty. I wouldn't mind having a few of those eggs myself, if you know what I mean. And I would get a chicken. Although, to be honest, that doesn't look like a chicken at all, but whatever. Uh, it's, it's a Viking chicken, guys. Yeah, they have different chickens. Wait, I just killed an edge hog and I got acorn? I got zucchinis! Oh, two timber. Cool, cool. <gasps> Is that the other, the other town? Uh, the other uh, team? No, that can't be. I got some honey. Uh, let's try and enter. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the portal. Oh, that's where it is. And that's the throne to gain health. Great. Cool. Okay. Who are you? 
acquaintance. And here comes my dear guest. It's not often that I see a new face here at the end of nowhere. Let me take a good look at you, hero of Niflheim. Ah, don't act so surprised. I know a lot. I've already forgotten more than you will ever learn. And still remember a lot more. Do the old lady a favor. Find me one bread. Or as she says it, find me one X bread as your reward. I will tell you the story of this place and therefore my story. And I get a portal scroll. Interesting. Let's do that. Oh man, the art style is really cool, dude. Really, really cool. Uh, I, I still need more timber, though. I need to find another tree that I can cut. Right there will do. That was a clover. Carrots. Because why not? Oh, a boar. How do I switch between the two? Ah. Oh. See, this makes a lot more sense. Okay, Fang. Dude, I'm starting to be hungry a little bit. Alright, I believe we have more enough to turn this quest in. Claim reward. Oh, we just we just do that. Oh. It's complete now. Great. And we received the thing? Hey, look at that. Cool. Um, dude, what I what do I need? Uh, I mean, a chicken coop would be pretty cool. It's not needed right now. Oh, we need rope. I can't even do rope. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to enter. Man, it's already night. Uh, I want to build a chest now. Is there any twigs? I don't know how to make twigs. Is it like something I make from stuff that I harvested? Or is it stuff that I find? No, I must find it on, on the ground probably. I do have straw. I'm assuming straw eventually will turn into something else. So zucchinis on their own give uh, sashiri, sashiri, sashiri. Anyway, that hunger. We'll just call it hunger. Um, but they don't give a lot. Carrots don't give a lot either, to be honest. Pork gives a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, because it's raw. Oh, I need to... I need to cook things. Well, duh, but... A safe. What is this, then? A forge. Okay, can I get a kitchen? That's a throne. So well and good, but in the meantime, I'm starving, bro. We're gonna have to do something about that quick. Oh man. Oh man. Is that the kitchen? Aha! I need twigs, bro. Okay, we're doing we're doing the thing. We're we're getting twigs. All right, that's enough. I need twigs. Mind you, I don't know why, but what the hell? You're hungry. I know you're hungry, bro. Now is not the time. Oh, can, can you just shoot there? Bro, just shoot it, okay? I, it's because clicking I need to click on the thing to shoot Oh 
Oh, an ancient shield. Dude. It's pretty cool. I got ops. I'm going to be able to make beer. Which, as you know, rabbit hide and I can I can get a hunter's harness. The mistress of the dead land has turned her gaze on you, warrior. Bring her joy with new victory. Collect two rabbit hide. Uh, that, should, that shouldn't be too hard. Dude, that's all well and good, but I need freaking twigs. Where, where do I get twigs? Apparently my guy is too dumb to like pick up twigs from freaking the ground or trees that he's cutting down. Like I have to freaking... Man, how can twigs be so hard to find? I don't get it. Okay, twigs come from these trees. The ones that are dead. There we go. See? Seven twigs. I could eat right now? No kidding. Okay, more twigs. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Sheep. More meat. I got bezoar and some wool and a bit of lamb. You're right. Can I? Can I? I, I can chop these. Yeah, I can click on them, Sassmith. But yeah, that, that's a good call. I, I could have tried that. Sure. I'm gonna need a rabbit soon, and also eating before I die. I just hope that the cr building of stuff is instant. I hope it's not like, oh, wait like two hours and it'll be like, I'll be dead by then. Ah, it works right away. Uh, no. No, but I want to craft though. Oh, yes. Food. Wait, all I can do is turnips? Uh oh. Well, it does give 25 so society, satiety, whatever. Where's the sword? I think. Yeah, it's better than that. And, and now I have a shield. Uh. Where's my Where's my food? Oh! You start the game with food. The game starts you off with food. Thank God. Man, I got scared for a second. There we go. Perfect. Another chest. The hell is this? Oh, the alchemy workshop. Yet another chest. Could it rise more slowly, please? That that, that wasn't that was way too fast, man. That was. Don't trust the priests. Find their greatest fear in the dungeons. They are not who they pretend to be. Brace yourselves; they are coming for you. Okay. And that's one of the other chests I have. Cool. Cool, cool. 